Do your dogs itch and scratch nonstop above and beyond? You know that they have problems, they have itchy skin, and it won't stop. No matter what you do, baths, you change the food, you try all kinds of, of remedies, you buy everything at the store, and still, they come to you for scratching and itching. And they chew on their paws, and they scratch, and sometimes they even get sores and wounds, and some dogs more than others. For example, Snoop, he's fine. Velvety skin, a nice soft chest, no itching problems ever. Check. Flip, on the other hand, well, He's just fine too. Uh, no itchy skin. Not that he wouldn't turn down a bum scratch, but uh, but this guy, he's just fine. Now the problem is, is this one. I mean, she needs constant scratching. She's always itching, always licking these little paws, and she can be the sweetest dog. But let me tell you, when that itchy skin sets in, everything's off. Going down? Okay. I mean. She is miserable. If your dog has the same problem, you found the right video because I'm gonna give you 16 ways that you can help fight itchy skin with your dog. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Rocky Kanaka. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave any comments down below. I'll try to answer your questions or if you have any thoughts, we'd love to hear them. Make sure you hit that like button because I'm here to tell you, I've done a lot in the pet world, but I know the feeling. The dog that just is in pain and misery and you wanna help them so bad, I know I've been there. You could spend thousands of dollars at the vet just trying to figure out what it is that's causing your dog that itching and that, that pain. And, it, and let me tell you, it can be painful. It can lead to nonstop licking of paws and pain and open wounds. So you're probably asking yourself, what can I do? Great, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna go through 16 all natural ways that I found that really works well for my dog. I'm not a vet, so make sure you consult with your vet if the situation is extreme. But these 16 all natural remedies, they can go a long way. I know this because I've tried way more than 16, and these are the ones that I really narrowed down that I saw working firsthand with my pets. Okay, let's go through all 16 of these items. Now, I might go through some of them pretty quickly, but no worries, you don't have to take notes. I'm gonna put all the info down below. Most of these items are free, but there are some really good links that I'll add in there that'll take you directly to some things that you need, so make sure you click those and check them out. Vitamin E, just like it's great for your skin, help clear up wrinkles, it helps soothe dog's skin and make it healthy. What's great about vitamin E is you can break it open and apply it directly to your dog's skin. Just, kind of just rub it in there and not only will they love the massage, but it has great results for their skin. Yogurt, feeding your dog plain, low fat yogurt has amazing results. Now, just use a small amount, but it can help with clearing up yeast infections all the way to relieving itchy skin. With the yogurt, start small. Make sure your dog's digestive system can handle it and you can always build up, but it'll give you really good results. Tea, chamomile tea and herbal tea. So put it in a sprayer like this, put it in the fridge and let it chill. Believe it or not, the chilled tea will kill bacteria and yeast and it will even reduce and relieve inflammation. Also, when my dog starts chewing on her paws, I like to spray her paws with that actual tea. It, it really helps and within minutes, she's not chewing on her paws as much. Or I'll take her paws if she'll let me, if she's calm enough or if I have treats uh, and I'll put her paws just right into the cold tea and just hold them there for a minute or two and pet her and soothe her. And, and that seems to have really good effects as well. Oatmeal. Okay, now you've probably heard of this one before, uh, but it is one of the tops and it really works. Oatmeal will soothe their skin. So grind it up in a coffee grinder or in a blender, put them in the bath and just and rub it into their skin. If your dog's horrified of baths, try bringing your dog into the shower with you. And you can, you can put that oatmeal in a cup or a pan and then just put that oatmeal on your dog while you're taking a bath or a shower. It'll, it will really help. Now, if you don't have time to do that, you can definitely buy a pre-made oatmeal shampoo and conditioner in one. There are lots of good ones out there. Now, if you don't have time to do that, buying a pre-made oatmeal, shampoo, conditioner is definitely a good idea, but they are not all created equal, so make sure you get the right one. I'll put a link down below for one that's really good. An Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt really helps if there are any open wounds. It'll help your dog heal faster. If you've gone to the vet and the vet's given you antibiotics, that combined with an Epsom salt bath, it, it will work 
miracles. Evening Primrose Oil. Now here's why I like this one so much, because not only can you get an oil where you can apply that just topically right to your dog, but you can also give your dog a primrose pill. And that'll really help calm any allergies and boost their immune system. Eucalyptus Conditioner. You can definitely make this stuff and it's not too difficult. So take a teaspoon of the actual dried eucalyptus or two tablespoons of fresh eucalyptus and put it in a pint of boiling water for 10 minutes. Then let that cool down and as a final step in your dog's bath, go ahead and pour that over your dog, rub it into their skin, and then just immediately dry them off with a towel. Don't rinse that off. It will soak into your dog's skin, and not only will it help calm their itching, but it's also a natural flea repellent. So that'll go a long way in the summertime. If you don't have the time to do that, again, I'll put a link down below so that you can just get a shampoo or conditioner. Just make sure you get the right one. Again, they're not all created equal. It'll cost a little bit more, but it'll be worth every dime. Dry shampoo. I get it, you're going, Rocky, these are all really great ideas. Why don't you come over to my house and try to get my dog into the bathtub? <laughs> I know. I know some dogs, no matter what you do, it just won't work. So I've got the answer for you, a dry shampoo. It, it, it works wonders. So here's what you do. You take oatmeal, you grind it up, you put it in the oven for five minutes, let it just get warm, and then you take a handful of that, put it in a towel, and then you take that towel and you rub your dog down with it. Now, yeah, it's gonna be a little messy and a little dirty, so make sure you do it somewhere where you can sweep up or outside, but it's gonna go a long way, it's gonna help. And if your dog doesn't like taking baths and it'll smell it anyways, it, it'll help. Trust me, try this one. If you don't have time to make that mixture, then you can definitely buy a dry shampoo as well. So again, I'll put the link down below for that. Essential oil shampoo. Now, we talked about some essential oils, but an actual essential oil shampoo will work wonders for your dog with itchy skin. You can make your own or you can buy an essential oil shampoo it's worth the while. It could be fleas. You don't think it's allergies, you don't think it's the their diet. It could be something as simple as fleas. If you want, you can make an herbal flea powder. I'm gonna put all the info down below on that. It's a little bit longer of a recipe, so I'm not gonna kill you with all the details in this video. And I'll put one that you can just pick up to make things easier. Natural skin tonic. This natural skin tonic that's lemon-based will go a long way. I'm gonna put the recipe down below. Also put some items you can pick up that have kind of a direct spray so you can really target that area. Baking soda. 50% water, 50% baking soda, rub it on your dog's area, leave it for 20 minutes, and it's fantastic. Apple cider vinegar. This new, take a 50-50% mix, you spray it on your dog, perfect. Aspirin mix. Take the aspirin, uh, crush it up, put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and rub that on the itchy area. Now watch your dog closely on this one, make sure they're not licking the area, and do not administer this one by mouth. Be very careful with this one, but this can also help relieve itchy areas. Brush your dog every day. I here's the thing. It's simple, so you, you often overlook this one, but brushing your dog every single day goes a long way, and here's why. When your dog's skin is itchy, inflammatory blood cells and chemical compounds such as histamine add up. So by brushing your dog on a regular basis, it helps reduce that. Coconut, whether it's the oil or flakes or lots of different forms, it goes a long way with helping dogs with itchy skins. I've done a video on this, I'll link it up above here. Make sure you check it out because it'll really help. Hey look, sometimes you've gotta take your dog to the vet because they need steroids or antibiotics or whatever your vet recommends. But I'd like to first try all the natural ways to see if any of those help and solve the problem. I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any ideas, I wanna hear from you. I want to know if you've tried any of these or if you've tried other things or what works. So make sure you leave comments down below. I'll respond as much as I can. And if you're reading those comments and you have any advice or, or tips that have worked for your dog, make sure to jump in, right? It's a community and we're all in this together because when your dog just doesn't stop itching and you've tried everything, I know you feel like you're out there on a planet of your own. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.